Hey, what's up everybody? Four I Drive over here. It's good to be back. It's been a while. Um, so this question has been racking my mind ever since I bought this car. And it's a really good question. And it's been left on by you fellow YouTubers as well that watched my previous videos. So shout out to y'all. So the question is, how much miles per gallon does this 2023 Acura Integra A spec 6 speed manual get? That's a good question. Considering there's a lot of things going on with inflation and everything else, gas prices going up, miles per gallon is really crucial for travel to save money on gas how much miles per gallon mpg does this car get so i'm actually going to break this down into four parts the first part i'm going to show you guys what Acura claims the miles per gallon is compared to what i get so let me tell you guys i've been tracking this for at least five months ever since i bought the vehicle so i'm going to compare the miles per gallon that Acura claims compared to mine second part i'm going to literally show you guys the spreadsheet that i've been logging everything about this car for gas so i tracked the distance i tracked the miles per gallon grade of the car how much was the refuel all of that i'm going to show you guys through the spreadsheet that i use which is google spreadsheet third part of this video i actually did a fun experiment so i was like you know what let me just use the modes so i use comfort mode normal mode and sport mode to compare all the miles per gallon averages that i do and <laughs> these numbers were kind of surprising so you're gonna see the numbers of each of those modes that i used fourth part of the video the last part of the video is a summary i'm gonna just summarize the miles per gallon what i talked about the experiments all that and also give you tips on you know how to increase on your miles per gallon through my experience conserving gas and you know how to save money so let's go what's up everybody so the first part of the video like i said Woo! is what Acura claims that this car gets this miles per gallon and comparing to what I get on average so Acura claims to get 30 miles per gallon for this car 36 on the highway 26 for the city what I get miles per gallon is 32.4 miles per gallon that is what i get for all everything that i logged in which you'll see later in this video i get 32.4 miles per gallon that is impressive considering you know how what type of driving that i usually do but you guys are going to see later on this video so 30 miles per gallon is pretty good considering you know everyone's looking to be in the hybrid and the ev modes now and for you know manuals 30 miles per gallon is pretty good i'm very satisfied with it top it off let's go let's go faster let's go 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 Woo! i'm actually heading back home uh, i'm gonna do the second part of this video to show you guys all the data and everything else that of what i've been doing to for this miles per gallon for this specific car i i cannot uh stress enough how much exciting uh such a great moment that i have with this car 30 miles per gallon 32 that i, what I get sees everything that i do so yeah man so let's head back and let's go to the second part of this video hey everybody welcome to the second part of this video as you can see here is the google spreadsheet of the miles per gallon of my 2023 acura integra um you can see all the information here that i logged in there and we're gonna go through it right now first date of what i've logged in was literally the day that i got this car which is August 27, 2022. It just brings back nostalgic vibes with me. Um, such a great day of owning this car. Definitely check out the video. Here I put categories for the data and the information that I logged in. So greater fuel, you can see it's either 91 or 93. Here's the thing. There's a recommendation and a minimum, right? That Acura notes down. Well, technically Honda that notes down. 91 is recommended fuel and 87 is the minimum. It also says that in the manual as well. Um, here's the thing. I will use 91 and 93. You can use as low as 89. However, below that, the engine will tend to knock. And I went through the forums of Integra forums, Honda forums, and all that, even on Reddit. And some will tend to knock if you use a greater fuel lower than 89. It says 87 minimum, but you know, for, for me... I'll just stick with 91 and 93. Last thing I need is my engine to knock. Back to my first column, which is greater fuel. The next column I use is distance. So distance, what represents is the total miles that I use when my gas is full. Uh, so it's the total trip in distance. 
so it's in miles. Miles per gallon, which is the star of the show. Data refuel. This is every time that I refueled all the dates that I logged in, all the dates until, you know, the last day that I did was February 7th. This is not here yet because I still have gas in my car. <laughs> now price per gallon. That's my next section. Gas is pretty high, especially for the last 91 and 93 for the octane fuels. So it's beyond $4. I think the highest for me was $4.59 one time. The lowest was 337 but, you know, so on and so forth. Total price of when I refueled the car. I missed the first two times, but after the third time on September 30th of last year, that's when I started logging in the prices because I really wanted to check the prices to see how much I do. Lowest I did was $38.81. That's not bad. That was uh, December of last year. And the highest was $49.46. Okay. So I actually did some averages here. The first average I did was miles per gallon. So from the first day that I got the car until the last log that I did, the average that I got of miles per gallon is 32.36. Remember in the beginning of the video, the first part, I said 32.4, which I rounded it up, but it's technically 32.36, 36, 36, 36, 36 repeating, okay? So that was my miles per gallon, which it does exceed 30 miles per gallon, which Acura claims that it has for this car. So it exceeds that, and I'm very, very happy for that. The next average that I did was price per gallon. As you can see, I did all of this price per gallon until that log. A uh, quick note here, you see this black box? This is for the third part of the video. This is the experiment. So I added some um, data for these as well, and you'll see the third part, uh, which is the experiment of the three modes that I did, comfort, normal and sport. It's going to be a fun one. And the numbers are going to be very, very interesting. So you're going to check that out for the, for the third part. Okay. All right. Resuming the average price per gallon that I did for this car so far is $4 and 18 cents. Yeah. It's going to be $4 for a while. I don't see it dipping down. It did dip down $3 a couple of times, but on average it's above $4. So $4 and 18 cents for my average price per gallon. The next one is my average fuel cost, the total fuel cost that I did. So the average for the total that I got was $43.31. Again, that's the average fuel cost that I did was $43.31. Pretty pricey whenever I refilled the car, but it is what it is. I'm using high octane fuel, 91s or 93s. I know 91 is slightly cheaper, but 93s I normally get because that's the availability that is around my either my neighborhood or my um, whenever I travel, et cetera. So the total cost of gas that I used from the day that I got the car until the last login date, which is about five and a half months. So January 29th was the last one. My total price of gas is $909.46. Yeah. So mind you, I didn't put the total cost for the total uh, for the two right here because I missed it. So if I put those, it'll be close to a thousand, to be honest with you. But in sake of the data that I have is $909.46. That's the total cost of gas that I use, okay, for this car so far. It's only been five and a half months. The average distance that I get per refuel, which is this one, I calculated the average. So the average that I got was 315.79 mi miles. So this is in miles, 315.979.54545 repeating. That's the total amount of miles, the average miles that I have, okay? So let's recap. Average miles per gallon, 32, 36 repeating miles per gallon. Price per gallon, $4.18. Average fuel cost, $43.31. Total cost of gas, $909.46. And my average distance per refueling the car, which is 315.7954 miles. In general, those are the numbers that I have. I'll still keep tracking it for the year and for the duration of the time. I don't know how long I'm going to track it, but so far it's been fun. Um, but that is a good segue into the third part of this video. So now we're in the third part of the video, the experimental mode. So here I tested out three modes, comfort, normal, 
and sport mode of the 2023 Acura Integra, I logged in the distance, the miles per gallon, the grade of the fuel, the price per gallon, and the total fuel cost. Let's start with comfort mode. Oh my God, that took forever, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh my God, it's so sluggish. <laughs> So comfort mode isn't my favorite mode as you can tell in the previous clip of me driving during that experiment. It's time to reveal the numbers. I used grade 93 for the fuel. Total distance that I got actually was 336.4 which is pretty good as expected with comfort mode. Miles per gallon is 33.3. That's not bad at all. The price per gallon that I got for that fuel at that time was $4.05. And the total cost of that fuel was $42.66. So this was for comfort mode. And those are the numbers. All right, now after the gas station right now, after refueling, it's time for me to switch from comfort mode to normal mode, which I normally use for everyday driving. It's time to test out the experiment of the data using in normal mode. So I just showed you guys a little clip of normal mode. Nothing changed with normal mode that I usually use while driving. So here I'm going to reveal to you the results of the data that I got while driving in normal mode. So I used 93 for my fuel grade. Total distance that I got was 317.4 miles, which as expected is lower than comfort mode, but it's still pretty good. My miles per gallon is 31.9, which is lower than comfort mode, but still pretty good. At the time, it was $3.99 price per gallon, which is pretty good. It's lower than $4.05 that I did for comfort mode at that time. And it's funny because the next data that I got, $42.69 was the total fuel cost, which is only three cents more than comfort mode. That is the data that I got for normal mode. All right, now refueling, all done. Now it's time to activate sport mode. Okay, this is the last mode that I tested out for this experiment. Uh, again, I use sport mode in my commute, but this upcoming clip, you'll see me driving in sport mode while going into Philadelphia, crossing the Walt Whitman Bridge, going in the expressway and having a good time in this mode. I try to drive normally like I usually do with my commutes and everything else, but sports mode, you just have to pull it a little bit harder, you know, just to get the thrill of it. So now it's me in sport mode.
So summing up spoil mode, it's time to reveal the numbers. So I used 93 for my fuel grade. The total distance that I got was 305.5 miles. I thought I would hit under 300 to be honest with you, but the fact that I got above 300 miles is pretty impressive. The miles per gallon that I got in sport mode is 30.5 miles per gallon, which again, I thought I was gonna hit under 30, but considering I got 30.5, I'm really, really happy about that. <laughs> Very happy. The price that I got to refuel was $3.99. That's the price per gallon. And the total fuel cost was 42.16. So that concludes sport mode and the data. Hey, what's up everybody? I'm actually at my aunt and uncle's place. Uh, we we're just getting ready to head out to see a movie, but I hope it's not Avatar because the first one was trash, in my opinion. <laughs> but anyways, so I think it's the perfect time for me to summarize everything that what I showed you guys, the miles per gallon of this 2023 Acura Integra A-Spec 6-speed manual. Fantastic car. I couldn't be more happier with this as my new daily driver. This car, after doing the reports, if you guys have seen it, it has 32.36 miles per gallon, run it up to 32.4 which is really good considering Acura claims to have 30 miles per gallon in this car. 315.8 miles, that was the overall uh, average of this car. Again, pretty good. However, I only had this for five and a half months and already has close to $1,000 for gas. I mean, keep in mind, I am using high octane fuel, either 91 or 93, so it's gonna be more pricier. So $43 is usually the cost of my fuel. That pretty much summarizes what I have done with this car in terms of miles per gallon. So here are the tips that I would recommend, you know, through my experiments that you guys seen with the three modes. I would say if you guys want to save money, save, you know, save gas, do some good mileage on it, best to do a comfort mode. Comfort mode is the best in terms of mileage, in terms of saving money and gas. But the problem is, it's not going to be as thrilling, it's not as exciting, and you're not going to get the full potential of this car. So go to conserve gas. If you want to conserve gas, definitely do comfort mode. Sport mode is really fun. I do it sometimes if I want to be really, really sporty and just want to do spirited driving. However, with spirited driving, that's going to cost you. You're going to burn more gas. You're going to use less mileage. So your MPG is going to go down. So that's the cost effective way of, you know, using in sport mode. And the best mode overall is normal mode. Best all around for me and probably for the user. Oh, also tips on, you know, driving and saving gas because I also promised you that in the beginning of the video. Don't have a heavy foot. <laughs> that will also deplete your miles per gallon. That will cost you a lot of gas and consumption. So definitely, you know, not have a heavy foot. Coast it as much as you can after acceleration. You don't have to put your foot on the gas entirely. Just let it coast until you hit either the miles per gallon and then let it off, let your foot off. That's what I usually do, but that's it. Um, I appreciate you guys watching this video. Definitely like and subscribe. I'm gonna push more videos on the way. So thank you guys very much. Have a good rest of the evening.